What's up? In this video, I will show you how to set up JavaFX using Maven and uh, NetBeans IDE and also create an executable jar file. All right, and let's get started. So first of all, if you don't have a JDK installed in your computer or a JDK uh, JIP file in your computer, you can download the JDK here at azul.com and I'll provide a uh, download link below in my uh, description and scroll down to select the Java version you can select uh, any version you want here and uh, in this video in this in this case I'll select Java 20 and operating is Windows architecture is 64 and the Java package will be JDK FX all right, you can download this, and after that, extract the uh, file and go to NetBeans, go to Tools uh, and Java Platforms. You can add a platform, select Java Standard Edition, Next, and find your JDK and select it, and click on Finish. Once you have done that, we can create a Java FX project using the Maven build and create a new project, select Java with Maven and scroll down, look for FXML, FXML Java FX Maven and, and or simple Java FX Maven. So in this case, in this type of project, it will create a Java FX application uh, or project with FXML file and this one doesn't have an FXML file. So I'm gonna select this one and click on next. And I'm gonna rename the project name to simple JFX. And we also need to change the JavaFX version to 20 as well. And click on finish. All right, the project has been created and we can run this project now and run project. All right, there's our application. Hello, Java, Java FX 20 running on Java 17. This is our JDK. So to checks, to checks, to fix this, we need to go to our project and right click, go to properties and build and compile. Select the Java platform to JDK FX. All right, let's go to our source code. This is the module that module and for the Java. And this is our classes, the main class and the system info. All right, let's go to our main class and there you go. We can add our title, stage title, page that set title and simple Java FX Maven application and run this again. All right, after we change the Java platform, here we go. We are using Java 20 and Java FX 20. And here's our stage title. So let's proceed to create the jar file, the executable jar file. So we can simply clean and build, select, uh, click this button right here, clean and build project. And we are building our application and let's go to the directory, open in system, go to target. This is our jar file. And to execute this, we can simply double click or run in terminal. We can type in commands here to run the jar file. Uh, let me type Java jar and 
the file name is a bit too long and let me rename this to app.jar and this is going to be app.jar and the result is no main manifest attribute in app.jar all right to fix this so i tried using chat gpt to fix to help me fix this issue so let me open this maven project one and let's go to project files i mean let me go to project files and i'm gonna open this on that fx that xml file and i have added uh plugins here and maven plugins this code is supposed to create the jar file which includes the dependencies all dependencies in project and this is to create the jar file as well all right let me copy these codes here copy these and open our on that that xml file and paste it below here make sure it is in the build plugins and build the plugins paste that and let me rename the main class the main class will be kensoft com that kensoft ph that simple jfx uh, simple jfx and the main class app all right let me copy this one and paste it here as well all right let's try to run our application let's see if it's working yes it's working and let's build the project again let me cancel this process here let me cancel this one all right build success and let's open the project again so as you can see we have two jar files let me refresh okay we have two jar files with the, the other one is only the jar, the jar file the compiled code and this one which includes the dependencies to run our jar file to execute jar file so let me run the jar file again to see how it works java jar and let me rename this file again to app.jar and app.jar all right okay we have an error javafx runtime components are missing and are required to run this application okay let me close this and let me go back to the ide and to fix this issue we can create a, another main class right click to our package and create a um, java main class not this one you should select this one i'm gonna say this class name to run main and click on finish all right let's add the code here and call the app that java app that main and then arguments all right and we need to change the pom.xml the main class here this is gonna be run main as well as this one here run main and run main as well okay we're good to go and let me try to run the program okay it's working and we're safe to clean and build the project all right it's success and let's go back to our uh, folder the target folder and let me refresh and there you go the size is 9 mb 
and let me rename this to app and open in terminal again and java jar app that jar all right it is working and running unsupported javafx configuration classes were loaded okay that's fine and here we go our application is running smoothly all right hello javafx 20 running on java 17 because my computer is uh, configured with java 17 that's why you see it here and we're good to go we can simply double click this one that's it i hope you learned something new in this tutorial please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and i will see you in the next video